This is some amazing room. <laughs> okay, you just walk off that little hallway and all of a sudden here's this room like this. My God, it's fantastic. Jules and Jim. See, I didn't see a movie like this until much later in life because when I was a kid, you just couldn't, you didn't see these films. It was almost impossible to get a chance to see, um, especially some of the foreign films or movies that were made somewhere in the 40s. They'd have to be reissued in, in Baltimore. It was impossible to see. So I didn't see a lot of some of the really classic movies until much later in life. Penny Baker's Don't Look Back is, is pretty extraordinary when you think about when this was done and the nature of of a documentary at that point in time. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I think I'll pull this out. Great work. The thing about Spartacus, it's so wonderful, is that it's this big epic film that Kubrick does, and yet it's got this personal story in it. And, and then you connect to it that way rather than just the big spectacle of it. It's one of the first movies when I saw that I became aware of the score. There's a couple melodies in it. They're just extraordinary. one Eye Jacks. Brando's only uh, directing film. It has great stuff in this film. There's a line in it, as I remember, when uh, I think Brando kills somebody in a bar and Carl Malden comes in and says, what happened, kid? And Brando says something like, he didn't give me no selection, Dad. I thought that was such a great line. It didn't give me any selection, so they killed him. Shadows, 1959, my God. To think that he was actually, in 1959, decided to try to make a movie on his own without having any kind of studio. Of course, I don't know what studios would be interested to do it, but the fact is that a guy who was an actor decided that he wanted to try to make movies and do it his own way. I mean, that's what makes... Cassavetti so amazing that he just said, look, I want to do this. These are the people I want to work with. This is the story I want to tell. I just want to get it made. If I have to shoot for a while and shut down, I'll do that. I just want to make the movies I want to make. Chimes of Midnight. This is Wells' film, right? Wells, in some ways, is uh, still untouched in terms of how he's able to handle certain things. He has a choreography of camera to actors that's, uh, I don't know that it's ever been equal because he, it's not just simply the camera move, it's how he's moving the actors. So he's moving the actors, he's moving the camera, he's doing both of those things. So you can see where he has this great sense of stagecraft. You wonder what would it have been like if he were, if he had made 25, 30 films in his career and, and had the support that I think was probably necessary for him. God knows what he might have done.